Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 178 of the Ortho Eval Pal podcast. I'm your host, Paul Marquis. Today, we're going to be talking about pressure mapping with special guest, Brittany Bearden. Um, we'll be discussing what pressure mapping is. We'll be talking about the different applications for the use of pressure mapping, which professionals like to use this technology. We'll be talking about some of the different diagnoses uh, that is used with pressure mapping. And then we'll talk about different products for different situations. Uh, and we'll be talking about so much more than that. But before we get started, I'd like, to get, like us to just to take a moment to hear a word from our sponsors. Welcome back. So I'm really excited today to have with me Miss Brittany Bearden. Brittany is a 2013 graduate from the University of Maine at Presque Isle, and um, she received her Bachelor's of Science in Athletic Training. And Brittany has been with TechScan for four and a half years now and is currently the Eastern U.S. Sales Manager. Brittany, welcome to the show. Thanks, Paul. I'm excited to be doing this with you today instead of me getting treatment from you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. So with that being said, before we get started, I just need to mention that I've known Brittany for a long time. Um, and the way I know Brittany is um, her mom was my science teacher back in the seventh grade, a honking long time ago. So I'm 51 years old. So I needed to put this in here because I know she's going to be listening to this show. And I always you, like you to know, give that little dig. If you're saying your age, I can only imagine what she's thinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, she doesn't like it when I say she was my old science teacher. No. Nope. Um, um, but, uh, so, you know, I, her, her, Brittany's mom was a great athlete and, um, has had several injuries and, uh, Brittany became an athlete just like her mom. And so through the rehabilitation scene, I got to know them both really well. And, uh, you know, Brittany has roots in this area and she's always really made it a point to, you know, come back and, and keep us informed on how she's doing, what she's doing. And, uh, she's really, uh, spread her wings a lot and, uh, become quite popular out there. And, uh, so, Brittany, you know, I was wondering if you could give us just a little overview of what you do for, for TechScan, the company you work for, and, um, you know, talk about the, the location that you cover and the people that you work with and whatnot, just so we can get a little idea of what you do. Yeah, so TechScan, we're a pressure mapping company. We are located in South Boston, Massachusetts, um, which is nice because like that we're local. Um, and, you know, we're in the U.S., so when our stuff ships, you know, they're not waiting for it to cross the borders and stuff like that, which is great with COVID right now. Um, we have four different divisions here at TechScan. We have our dental division, our industrial, and then our FlexiForce. And then I am a part of the medical team, and I cover the eastern United States. So I cover, you know, about 25 states, so I have a pretty low. Um, but we make all of our pressure sensors, you know, in our South Boston office. Um, and we have a lot of different parts of the organization. So the people that we work with, you know, aside from the sales team, we have marketing, we have tech support, engineering, we've got chemists on board. So it's really nice because when you work with TechScan or a customer of ours, we have so many different people that can support you through your process. Super, super. Now, um, what I'd like to do today is focus a little more on the human aspect of what um, you, you do with TechScan, because I also understand that you do some work, you know, in the animal and automotive world. Is that correct? <laughs> that is correct. Um, so along with what you would consider your normal medical world technology, um, I also work with the veterinary population. So I deal with um, veterinarians who might be looking at a lameness on an animal, animal to detect that, um, different gait. We've got larger systems for cows, horses, and then we also have smaller ones for rodents, which are mainly with research. Um, but yeah, we also, you know, our industrial team works a lot with industry, R&D applications, and then of course dental with the dentist working with occlusions of the teeth and things like that. So we can work across so many different boards with the applications, which is really nice. Wow, that is awesome. That's, uh, that's crazy. So can you explain to me a little bit about what pressure mapping is? It's a good question. <laughs> so a pressure mapping technology is something that quantifies the interface between virtually any two contacting surfaces. Um, our pressure mapping systems are composed of data acquisition electronics and has the software as well as the pressure mapping sensor, which is going to provide you with that contact data to be able to give you deep analysis, which is really for real-time visual representation of that data and giving you objective data. Great, so can you describe what these devices look like and, and how they function? 
So we have, like I said, we've got products across the board, but the main component for everything is our sensors. Um, it's basically a matrix. So everywhere that you have these sensing elements cross, it's pressure sensing you know, point where you're going to get that data. So we've got some, you know, the higher the resolution, the more of those sensing elements you're going to have. Um, you know, most, you know, our popular system is our strideway in the medical division, which is tiles that piece together to create essentially a runway to have people walk across um, and you're going to get pressure force. You're going to be able to get all your spatial temporal data. So step length, stride length, velocity. And then we've got, you know, our in-shoe system. And yes, they look different because that one slides right in your shoe. It will look like an insert in your shoe, but the technology is built the exact same as the sensors that run way. So they function the same. They're just built different applications. Okay. So you have something that is kind of like a runway. And then do you also have like an individual tile or an individual platform that you can work on? We do. So we've got the strideway, which is the runway. Our F scan, which has a couple different versions, which is the in shoe system. And then we have our mobile single mat that you can have patients stand on, which is really great for like your geriatric population or your athletes if you're doing concussion assessments or fall risk. And then we also have our SB or our sport mat, which is really just a double wide of the mobile mat. So you can do more dynamic stuff like jumps, squats, lunges, and things like that if you're doing, you know, return to play with ACL and different things. Yeah, I remember when you had come up one time to our clinic and did a little demo for us. Um, we were using the insoles in the shoes and, you know, it was it was so interesting to see how we can make an immediate change. Like I'm big into orthotics and yeah. and how the foot strikes the floor and whatnot. And so we had uh, we had tried some with and without orthotics on one of our employees. And you could really see where the pressure distribution had changed. And it's it's pretty immediate feedback. And that's what I like the most about the insoles is that uh, you can you can walk, you know, and then you can make some modifications and then try it again and see if those modifications are working. So it really gives a lot of validation to what you're doing. What kinds of medical professionals are you working with in regards to using these different types of devices? Well, to spin off of that, a lot of podiatrists love this because when they're dealing with orthotics, you know, they have what the patient's telling them, but if the patient says this one feels a little weird here or there, this is a way for them to get that objective data. Okay. There's a ton of pressure in the heel. Let's modify the orthotic, try it again. And within five minutes, you have your results and can modify these orthotics, which is really nice. So you've got podiatry. We have physical therapists that are using it for different, you know, across the border injuries. We have neuro clinics for, you know, with different uh, neurological disorders to test, especially the velocity. Um, and what's nice with the neuro is you, again, because you can use assistive devices on it, they, you don't have to have them walk by themselves or anything like that. You can have them walk with a walker or the robots across it, which is really great. Um, so we've got physical therapy. A lot of pediatric gate labs love this for their kids because we are higher resolution contact area with the kids feet um, will give you really good data and then of course you know with the veterinary we do a lot with that as well so it just depends kind of what your application is but we can really be across the board and we're in, in a lot of athletic facilities too because the in shoe system you can have them on the court or on the soccer field or football field because it's wireless that is awesome so do you work with other medical professionals yourself like when you gather this data and move this information on to others like like i take it you work with uh, professional athletes um and and tell me a little bit about that yeah we definitely do i can't say too much because we can't say which teams are necessarily working with but we do work with a lot of professional sports teams which is really cool um i did a basketball one recently and being able to see them on the court and how they actually function and see how much force they're producing when they jump or when they land um you know our stuff was actually used with espn sports science before with dwight howard there's a video on our youtube page with that showing how much force he actually produces when he jumps up to dunk it and how much he lands it was it's i mean it's insane you can't get that data any way else unless you've got something right inside the shoe um so yeah so sport help them and guide them along the way we have some of these people who are using you know helping us our products before we launch them which is really nice um so we're you know the different shows we're at you know physical therapy biomechanics um you know different sports movement analysis you name it we're in there somewhere like i said veterinary to physical therapy <laughs> 
Excellent. It seems like there's quite a wide spread on on the uh, you know the medical use of this. Um, let me ask you this: like, if a if a college you know like kinesiology class or PT class or or you know any school that had any of these uh, medical uh, issues, is there any way that they can? Um, get in touch with you folks and trial this stuff, um, trial some of these devices. Is that possible? So pre-COVID, it was a little bit easier. So right now we're doing most of our stuff with online demonstrations. So you directly, um, I'll give, you know, I can give my cell phone and email at the end. Um, we also have a contact us page on our website, which is just techscan.com. You can fill it out for what products you're looking us a little bit of detail and myself or the other U.S. sales rep will reach out to you um, and we can set up an online demonstration. We can send you videos. Um, hopefully once COVID's over, then we would be able to come see you and actually demo this product with your athletes or your patients. All right, great. Now, one question I have as a physical therapist, it's always difficult for us to get justification from insurance companies to treat patients. Uh, and that's becoming much more challenging. Is there any way of using um, some of these pressure mapping systems to help justify what we do and, and utilize it in that sense? This is a little bit of a gray area one, but yes. Um, so we don't have anything specific that we can be like, hey, if you use this code, you will get reimbursed X, Y, and Z. However, we have had some medical professionals who have used certain CPT codes um, and told us that they were su successful with it. So we do have a sheet that we have that we can offer to um, doctors um, to say, these are ones we suggest you try. Um, whether weight testing, um, modifications, anything like that, those are some of those codes you can use, but it's not something that's a green or a red, yes or no. Um, it's kind of a trial and error thing with people's insurance. All right, great. Um, Brittany, is there anything else you'd like to throw out at us in regards to pressure mapping? I just think it's important to remember, like no matter what your application is, you might not think we have, you know, something for you to use, but there's, you can use them in so many different ways. You know, we've, you know, our gait analysis system, people are doing push-ups on to look at the weight distribution left, you know, with their hands. So the possibilities are endless. So if you have them, just let us know. We're happy to help um, with whatever research or clinic clinical work you're doing. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, um, you know, how could they do that? Uh, do you have a, you know, a website mm -hmm. email? Um, you know, I mean, I'm sure we're going to link all of this stuff in the show notes today, but what would be the most direct contact somebody could have with you? The easiest way is to contact me on my work phone, which is 617-596-2549. They can text me, they can call me. That's just the easiest form of communication, but we can link my email and our website where they can fill out that contact us page as well. Yeah, that's great. And then it's not a bad idea to mention if you do uh, connect with Brittany to mention that you'd heard this on the show on the Ortho Eval Pal show. And that way, she'll be familiar with what we've discussed and, uh, and where this is uh, coming from. So, um, Brittany, such great information today. And I'm glad we were able to bring this to our listeners. Uh, I think that there are a lot of items out there that that we're still learning about and that we don't even know exist. I mean, yeah, as simple as the little pressure mapping system you see when you go uh, try out orthotics at local stores, you know, all this stuff comes, you know, with the same type of technology and we don't think about how we could utilize it and advance ourselves and advance uh, our patients, you know, in our clinics and in, in our settings. So um, getting this information is just invaluable and uh, just want to thank you so much for bringing this to uh, all of our listeners. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so Folks, I hope you enjoyed the show today and uh, please be sure to check out in the show notes. Uh, we'll have all of the links to TechScan and how to get in touch with Brittany. If you have questions for me uh, and uh, about anything ortho, please send them to me. We'll put them on the show. Don't forget to jump onto our YouTube channel. We'll uh, have uh, this interview also on YouTube and uh, along with all of our information regarding real patients with real diagnoses. And I have a lot more coming up. Um, I have a new lineup of videos coming, so I'm sure you going to enjoy that. And um, if there's any particular diagnosis you're interested in, please be sure to uh, get in touch with me and I'll do my very best to put it up there. So again, folks, thank you so much for listening. Take care and have a great week.